There's a reason why I haven't been posting a lot of videos or streaming a lot lately. And the reason for that is because I've been thinking a lot, really, like... Um, especially mm -hmm. sleeping a lot, um, during, um... Most time in bed or watching too much on the Switch and whatever, you know, like, with Pokemon and such. So... A lot, you know, a lot of things has been going through my mind, um, like, me thinking about my illness, all the pills that I take, um, uh, because of, like, two different things, mainly, um, like, you know, like, it connect, it's basically connecting with, you know, my epilepsy, um, because, you know, I also have hay fever, so that, so that's still um, an issue with me basically forgetting to take my hair fever pills, even though I don't really forget my epileptic ones. I do intend to forget um, because of that, um, because I, you know, I just never feel like it, and I just sleep without my hay fever stuff because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, so yeah, so apparently having epilepsy has a strain on it um, because you know again the depression and whatever um, anxiety loneliness and whatever everything that comes into an epileptic package. Um, also thinking about all the worries and stuff like that that would happen and whatever. Um, also thinking of future possibilities of what would happen um, to someone like me um, having the you know that certain illness um, also thinking a lot of my sister because you know sometime this month she did have a seizure um, so I've been thinking a lot about that unfortunately um, as well um even thinking about what could happen years later and whatever if scientists do not develop a cure for epilepsy um i've been thinking about that too and even basically have stated that you know if i were like if i got to around the age of 60 or 70 year old since i would have a feeling i'd probably get another illness um, which would result in taking even more pills or whatever. But I basically have stated, you know, if that did happen, I'd be done um, with taking shit. Because, you know, I would forget to take stuff because, you know, I have like a certain mind where I forget mainly. Um, like, like, during the night, I get lazy, um, so I actually can get lazy, um, because of that, um, so, yeah, so in a way, actually, epilepsy, epilepsy actually does suck, um, as far as I know, because, you know, basically one day, I do actually, you know, as basically, I do have this fear that, you know, of all the possible deaths, um, that could happen to me having epilepsy. Mine comes to mind thinking of one, one death, mainly. Um, and I'm actually thinking it's something to do with dying in your sleep. Um, now I'm thinking of that one because I keep thinking about that one because the reasons why is because you know, people pass away in their sleep because, from what I've read, it's to do with the brain mainly. Like, as you get older, um, and such, um, like, for example, if you sleep or something, you're more at risk to get seizures. Um, so, so that's, that's basically, um, one of the things I worry about the most because sleep, sleeping is can be scary because even though you may not know it um so um so apparently for um example i can actually bring up is cameron boyce actually also had epilepsy um he died in his sleep because of it um 
So most likely he was shaking um, and whatever, um, didn't breathe and basically epilepsy can be caused by stress so most likely he actually was up for another uh, movie or something, had a seizure in bed. Yeah. So he had a seizure in bed um, and died. Um, so basically, so basically dying in your sleep can basically happen in a number of ways. Stress is one of them. The other one could just happen at random. Um, you wouldn't know it. Um, and it can be scary. Um, mainly. Now, as for me, I actually don't have the fear of actually dying mainly fully. Um, like I do think of all the possibilities that can happen, like for a number of things. I'd be cured of epilepsy if I if it did happen to me. Um, like I wouldn't feel the pain um, of seizures anymore. I wouldn't have the sniffles or the hay fever anymore. I wouldn't feel like I have an allergy, um, you know, and all that stuff. Um, which is one, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have been suffering because, as I know it, I don't think the scientists are gonna make a cure by the time I'm actually still alive. Um, I think it'll be sometime after, um, sometime after I'm gone, I reckon. Um, now, seizures with me, I usually have them every two years. Um, so in a way, the seizures aren't really fully controlled. I wish they were, but they're not. I wish the scientists actually did something, like, developed something um, from the research or something to make a better medication that would control the seizures 100%. Um, at least then, people would go on years without a single seizure um, at all, which would be better because then more people can get out and about and do what they love the most. Especially if it's diving, because um, diving is one of them, and then when it comes to epilepsy, that's another one. Um, like, you know, cause, I mean, riding, you know, like horse riding, like, they usually question you if, like, if you basically tell them you have epilepsy, they usually don't let you ride for about a month, but depending on how long you haven't had a single seizure, they would actually allow it anyway, um, depending, you know what I mean? Because certain places actually wait out and see how long it lasts. Like, for example, if you apparently said you were epileptic, or for example, um, after getting asked about the horse riding thing, um, if you say basically you haven't had them for like years and years and years and years and years without a single seizure um then most likely they would have took the rider on um but if you say you've had a seizure at a certain time or something like that in like say like last year or two years ago they would say um no that uh, you would apparently they'd have to watch and whatever and see how long you'd go at months without a single seizure, um, you know what they're like, mainly, um, so, so apparently, um, I, most of the time I just feel isolated and, you know, in the house or whatever, like, I don't really, I rarely ever go out, um, for fresh air. Like, I really have ever get outside the house, and when I do, I usually just go out to, like, a couple of spots and then come back in. Um, it's mainly the cause. Um, so I do wish that I didn't have epilepsy, then I'd be able to, like, go out a bit more, um, you know, and do more with Pokemon Go stuff and whatever, um, since that would have made me happy, I guess, um, but unfortunately, no. So, I kind of always feel, feel that it's more like a curse that I have, um, and whatever, even though it's genetic, I just, I just feel like I'm gonna be stuck with this long term or whatever, um, so, 
So apparently that's the reason I have been actually uploading most videos or whatever. You've been thinking about all this stuff that could happen or whatever. You know, all this stuff that sense of could happen in my lifetime or whatever. And things that I think about and whatever and all that stuff and whatever. You know, and whenever I actually mention anything about it, like in Facebook or whatever, so I actually go against it or whatever, even though I call scientists lazy, which is physically true, because scientists are lazy and whatever, you know, and basically, so I would go against, basically, like, oh, they lose all that profit, and I was like, no. They are lazy, but I don't care about the, the you know, not many would not care about the profit, because that, that one's true, because there's always deaths every single year because of epilepsy. Now, what would have happened is, if they were cured of epilepsy, things could have got a lot better. Um, like, for one, yes, they'd stop taking the medication, um, for epilepsy, if they were cured, um... But, um, yes, they would probably lose that marketing, but they would get something in return. Like, say, for example, they'd still have other illnesses to attend to. Something like that. So at least then they wouldn't have to focus on, you know, the medication anymore. Since everyone would be cured of epilepsy in a way. So... Even though they'd have to start off from the smaller ones, um, the smaller epileptics, um, you know, the ones that have, like, less seizures or something, or the ones that, like, just very small seizures. So they'd have to focus on them first, or they might just go straight to the bigger ones first. Um, the ones that can't really be, um, sorted or something. But I think if they went for, like, the smaller ones first, they'd be able to get them out the way quicker, um, so then they don't suffer in a way, um, and then focus on the next ones, um, and such, like, the ones that, um, you know, as they get worse and worse and worse, you know what I mean, them ones, um, and such. So we go on like that until they develop a cure, um, for, like, everyone. So then, um, once they've got that sorted, then they do something with the newborns, um, or something like that. Like, they would inject that cure into a newborn, um, and that newborn wouldn't have epilepsy, um, at all. So, that would be a good step forward, because that would save everyone from harm and, like, constant, like, illnesses and whatever, uh, in future. And that would have helped a lot. Um, matter of speaking. Um, so something like that would have really helped, I think. Um, and such. So, so I think basically if I ever feel like making videos or something like that, be patient with me. Um, that if I actually feel like it at some point, uh, then I will make a video. But, I've just, you know, the truth is I've been feeling a bit lazy lately because of everything I've been thinking of mainly. So, maybe I'll come around to it at some point again in the future. If I feel like it. Um, and such. So, so, yeah.